Tonight, the Kremlin trying to downplay a major victory for Ukraine, which is the detention of Putin ally Viktor Medvedchuk, claiming that he's simply an opposition politician who, quote, never had any behind-the-scenes relations with Russia. Hmm, that's patently absurd. Despite repeatedly, of course, meeting with Putin over the years, including all the public appearances you see on your screen, Putin actually acknowledged to Oliver Stone, the director of Medvedchuk, quote, we know each other well, <laughs> because he is the godfather of Medvedchuk's daughter. But hey, barely know each other. All right. Out front now, Bill Browder, longtime Putin critic who has been called Putin's number one enemy and the author of the new book, Freezing Order, a true story of money laundering, murder, and surviving Vladimir Putin's wrath. So, Bill, so much to talk to you about. Uh, it, it, so let's first start with Medvedchuk, right? And how big of a fish is he in Ukraine? He's an important guy. He's sort of a really wealthy guy. Well, he's a wealthy guy who is basically um, uh, on the Russian side. And um, I mean, I, I actually find, kind of <clears throat> find it funny that they're hanging him out to dry. It doesn't. It, it shows that there's no great incentive to be a Russian sympathizer in Ukraine right now. Right. That no one's no one's really coming to his right, aid exactly. or assistance. He, or he, he's an enemy of Ukraine. <laughs> And the, and the Kremlin wants nothing to do with him. So I think that there's a good a good lesson there for other, uh, you know, Russian agents in Ukraine. And his which, daughter's godfather, who's right. running the entire war, is doing seeming right. to do absolutely nothing right. at this point. All right. So so that's what happens to him for now. You also talk, and I know you know, but a lot about in your book Vladimir Karamurza, who was arrested this week in Moscow. Yeah. Um, after he has been, well, he was suspected to be poisoned twice yeah. by Putin. Um, you were in constant contact with his wife after those poisonings, uh, poison experts to try to keep him alive. Um, you say he's changed your life and that he's uh, reminds you of a young Nelson Mandela in terms of his, his charisma and his talent. So last month, he was briefly in the United States. I spoke to him. Here's what he said. There's a growing certainty among many people in Russia, not only on, on our side, on the opposition side, but also on the pro-regime side, that this is going to be the last war that Vladimir Putin launches. Mm. He really overstepped this time, and there's not going to be a way back for him and his regime. At the All end right. of the day, the only solution to this will be when Putin is out of power, and only Russians in Russia will be able to do that. So he did that interview. He was in Washington. And then he gets on a plane, and he goes back to Moscow, and now he's in prison. Yeah. How worried are you about him? Well, actually, after doing that interview, he stopped in London, um, where, Saw I, you. Where, where I live. <laughs> yeah. I had dinner with him. He told me he was going to Moscow. And I, I was there during all of his poison. I wasn't in Moscow, but I was at, at you know talking to his wife every 10 minutes during the poisonings yeah. and, and thinking that he was probably going to die. And so I, t I said to him, don't go I begged him, don't go back to Moscow. Don't go. It's just too dangerous. And, and I, I even almost fell out with him. I was so emphatic. And he, he said, huh. I, I'm an opposition politician. I'm asking the Russian people to stand up to Vladimir Putin. What message would that send if, if I was afraid to go back to my own country? But now you have Navalny. You have Karamurza. They, they go back. That's their, that's, and I understand. I don't, I, don't, I don't know that I would have that, that bravery or that courage, but they, they, whatever word you want to use. But they've done it. And now who knows what's going to happen to them? It's terrifying. I mean, so so they tried to kill him twice, and he's now in the custody of the people who tried to kill him. I mean, it's terrifying. I mean, I, you couldn't get worse than that. So, so you know, th 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 it is. It's it's really hard to understand. And as I said, it's hard to find the word. I mean, people do that, um, but but I know they feel so strongly about it. It comes in the context of what is happening to the wealthiest in Russia, and I understand that's a small sliver of the story. I would argue more important that Germany and the EU are giving a billion dollars a day to Putin. But the oligarchs are important. And today, the self-governing Isle of Jersey, which uh, you're familiar with, obviously, being from London, froze more than $7 billion of money suspected to be connected to Roman Abramovich, the Russian oligarch. Now, Zelensky has reportedly asked the U.S., don't sanction him because he's involved in the negotiations. He's, he's uh, sensibly so close to Putin, it's unclear. Where do you think his loyalties lie? I think his loyalties lie to Roman Abramovich, <laughs> so to himself. He, his loyalties lie to not getting on any sanctions list. And I think, uh, from, from, my, from my perspective, this is all just a, a ruse to try to stay off the sanctions list. And, and he has for the Americans, but he hasn't for, for Britain or, or the EU. And, and by the way, you know, we, we, we watch these, these shows every night on TV where there's yachts being seized here, there, and everywhere. If we, if we added up all those yachts and all those planes, 
they would get you nowhere near $7 billion that's been frozen in one fell swoop in the Channel Island of Jersey. That's huge. Right, right. It's, it is significant. But as you point out, sometimes the things that are the most visible, they're sort of, it's like the iceberg uh, and, that the Titanic hit, right? It's what you see. What you don't is, is what's really and, and by the way, the Cayman Islands also seized $7 billion. So there is now $14 billion of Abramovich's money frozen Cayman Islands, Channel Islands. All right. Well, Bill, uh, as I said, has a new book, Freezing Order, True Story of Money Laundering, Murder, and Surviving Vladimir Putin's Wrath. I uh, hope everyone will get it. Thanks so much, Bill.